Nearly 50 people were killed when a gunman opened fire and systematically targeted Muslims at prayer. Two mosques in the city of Christchurch were filled with people when a man entered and began shooting. New Zealand's prime minister is calling it terrorism. The number of those killed in the attack now stands at 49. Good afternoon, I'm Stacey Smith. And I'm Christine Sorensen. Police have arrested an Australian man and charged him with murder. It's been widely reported that he used social media to live stream his attacks. As a newsroom, we have made an editorial decision that we will not show these images in any of our reporting on this story. The Pittsburgh community is still grieving and reeling from the Tree of Life shootings, and we want to be respectful of the victims, their families, and our community in the reporting. The horror of the events can also be told just as effectively through eyewitness accounts. Andy Sheehan has more. Police and first responders descended on the two mosques in Christchurch after reports that a gunman had stormed inside and opened fire on Muslims gathering for Friday prayers. People ran desperately from the gunfire, some with hands in the air. The wounded were put on stretchers and rushed to emergency rooms. It is clear that this is one of New Zealand's darkest days. And suddenly, you know, uh, the shortest, uh, shooting started. The man spent several minutes inside the mosque shooting randomly. I could hear screaming and crying and... Uh, I saw some people were, you know, drop dead. The blood is spitting on me, I mean, splashing on me. And I'm thinking, oh my God, oh my God, it's going to happen to me now. But fortunately, I'm alive. A second attack also took place in a different mosque about four miles away. It's unclear if it was carried out by the same person. We have recovered a number of firearms from both of the scenes. Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern called it an unprecedented act of violence and said it could only be described as a terrorist attack. We were not chosen for this act of violence because we condone racism, because we are an enclave for extremism. We were chosen for the very fact that we are none of these things. Andy Sheehan, KDKA-TV News.